Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a really special one because ever since I first stumbled across videos like this, I've had so many questions about them. Honestly, back then, I didn't even believe those videos were real. It just looked like such a weird kind of welding machine. And at that time, I didn't even have a YouTube channel. So never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I'd be in a situation where the company behind that incredible machine would actually send me one to try out. However, as unbelievable as it sounds, X Laser Lab actually did just that. They sent me their X1 Pro Laser, which is a 3-in-1 machine. It welds, it cuts, and it cleans. In fact, it does so much that one box just wasn't enough to contain it. So it arrived in two. Now, this video is going to be an unboxing and first impressions video because, well, I didn't exactly plan ahead. So there will be a part two a bit later on. But honestly, I'm way too excited about this not to make a video. I had a massive smile on my face throughout the entire unboxing and even for a couple of days after that because it's just unbelievable that this thing actually exists and that they sent it in for a review. Of course I'll be objective and fair but I'm sure you can understand where my excitement is coming from. And as tradition goes, I'll be unboxing this with my cheap Parkside knife which I think is worth a like on its own. I would have used an angle grinder but let's just say I don't trust myself that much for this one. And also, I just want to add that I just feel incredibly lucky sometimes having all of you supporting me so I can keep doing these amazing projects on this channel. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you to each and every one of you for your support and for taking the time to watch my videos. It means more than you could possibly imagine. So then, this is the first box and right away, its list of contents looks quite extensive. Everything is very neatly packaged and it gives off a really positive first impression. Essentially, this box contains the wire feeder and all the accessories that go with it. It weighs about 10 kilos and as a DIY welder, this isn't something I'm very used to because this one takes the larger 5 kilograms and up wire spools. So here are the two connectors that hook it up to the main machine. One handles the electronics and the other one is the wire feeder tube, which connects straight to the business end of the laser. But we'll get to that a bit later. The wire feeder itself is really well built and the buttons are big and clearly labeled and well overall easy to use. There's an LED indicator to show when it's powered on and two buttons, one for feeding the wire and one for retracting it. And one more thing worth mentioning is that they've included plenty of cable and tubing length which gives you a lot of freedom to decide where to place the thing. And now moving on to the second box which weighs a massive 30 kilograms. But still, in a world of laser welding machines, this thing is practically pocket sized by today's standards. And if you're not too familiar with laser welding, here's what makes it so impressive. Instead of relying on an electric arc or a filler wire like traditional welding, it uses an extremely focused beam of light to melt and fuse metal together, and you can still use a filler metal if you want to. However, filler metal or not, the result is a much cleaner, faster, and more precise weld. You can draw thin materials without burning through them and because the heat affected zone is so small there's very little warping or distortion, meaning less cleanup and a smoother finish. These machines can handle a range of materials, from stainless steel and aluminium to carbon steel and even some copper alloys depending on the setup. And since the process is so efficient it's becoming increasingly popular in everything from jewellery work to automotive and industrial fabrication. And even though this 30 kilogram box might look heavy, what's inside is a compact piece of cutting edge welding technology. And this is the first thing that greets you when you open the main box. This small metal plate shows exactly what this machine is capable of. It's the very same plate they use for testing before shipping it out. Now, I know the welds on it look amazing, and you might think the technician who made them is just an incredible welder. And well, they may well be, but as you'll see in my next video, this machine is extremely flattering and it really makes anyone look like a pro. And in the meantime, if you want to see what skilled professionals can do with it, I've linked a few videos down in the description. On the other hand, I'll focus on the machine from a DIY perspective so you can see what results you can realistically expect if you have no skills at all. Now back to the contents of the box. You actually get a very long power cable, which is pretty rare these days because usually it's your own fault for not having an outlet very close to the machine. There are actually quite a few items in the box, so I'm just pulling them out as I find them. So the next thing is the emergency stop button, which has a strong magnet on the base, so you can stick it to your welding table and keep it within easy reach. 
The next thing sitting right at the top of the box is the ground clamp, and compared to ones you'd find on a regular welding machine, this one looks tiny, but I guess it's more than enough for what this machine needs. Moving on, we've got a box of protective lenses, a pair of special laser welding glasses, and a set of laser nozzles and accessories. But that's just what was sitting on top of the box. Now, let's dig a little deeper and see what else is inside. And honestly, I've never felt so excited about an unboxing before, because I've seen so much about this laser online, and I still can't believe I actually get to test it myself. And this is where all the photo magic happens. From what I understand, the light is generated inside the main unit and then travels through this thick, heavy-duty fiber optic cable all the way to what I'll just call the torch, because, well, I'd rather not risk calling it anything else with YouTube's terms and conditions. Once again, everything feels really solid and well put together. And the length of the cable is great too, which is always really nice to see. And with all that out of the way, we finally made it to the main event, which is the X1 Pro itself. This thing is a heavy beast. I'd say it's somewhere around the 20 kilogram mark, and it actually looks a lot lighter than it is. But to be fair, for a laser welder, it's still on the smaller side. And I'll admit, I might have put my back out trying to lift it out of the box, but honestly, it's totally worth it just to see what all the fuss is about. So, this is pretty much the complete package. Well, the most important parts anyway, which are the torch, the wire feeder, and the X1 Pro itself. So, now that they're all in one place, let's do the compulsory thing, shall we? Oh yes, that felt very good. Now, before we can actually put this thing to use, there are a few things that need to happen. First, all the wires need to be connected, which is honestly too straightforward to even bother showing on video. If you just follow the manual, it takes maybe two minutes, tops. After that, you need to load the welding wire into the wire feeder, and most importantly, connect the X1 Pro to a bottle of shielding gas, which could be nitrogen argon or a CO2 argon mix. This gas isn't just mandatory for shielding the weld, but it also helps cool the torch. So basically, no shielding gas, no play. And guess what we've got here? A gas bottle, but no actual shielding gas inside, or at least not enough of it to make any sort of progress. On the bright side, that means I've already confirmed one thing, which is that the X1 Pro's alarm system works perfectly well, and it's clearly got some solid safety features built in. So, of course I'm filming this over the weekend, which means there's no chance I can get this gas bottle refilled. So here I am, with a laser welder I'm way too eager to test, and a weekend I can't wait to be over so I can finally get my shielding gas. On the bright side though, I've got plenty of time to just admire it, and to see that the design really stands out when compared to a regular welding machine. But let's be honest, we all want to see it in action, right? I've got everything connected and ready to go, but I'll put you through the same suspense I had to go through. You have to wait a little more before seeing this in action. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and drop a comment letting me know what you think about these laser welders.